Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Well, we've got a little bit to do in this episode, I can assure you. We've got some secrets to go and find, and uh, I hope my mic is sounding okay. There's been an update for the Elgato software that actually um, includes a compressor, which is kind of interesting. Apparently, it's uh, some kind of hardware compressor as well for the microphone, so hopefully... Everything is sounding good. Uh, I wasn't going to bother, but I thought, fuck it. I'm going to use it. If they're offering it, I'm going to use it. So, if there's anything weird going on, that'll be why. Son of a bitch. So, in our last video, at least I believe it was our last video, funny enough, I haven't actually played this game for about three weeks. I believe... We missed an item down here. It's not a humongously important item, but it's one that we, I guess, may as well grab. And when you see what item it is, it's going to be incredibly anticlimactic. In fact, what we're also going to do to try and save ourselves a little bit of bother, we'll put the spike breaker armor on as well. Just because that'll make it a little bit less frustrating to get all the way back down here. Okay. Uh, nope, we do not want to be the dog. Come on, change back to Alucard, please. We do want to be the dog, but not just yet. Now we have uh, quite a few... Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Quite a few extra little bonusy rooms to break into. We got all these pots, didn't we? But I've got on my notes when I was watching the video back to edit it. Oh my, there's literally one item. One stupid little crappy item that I forgot back here. Now, I know I said I'm not going to go and guarantee a 100% run, but if there's something I notice, if it's something I notice, we're going to be grabbing it. Ugh, son of a bitch. Never mind. I've decided as well that I'm probably... Yep, that was it. It was a library card. All that for a library card. Yeah, so um, I've decided that I won't be leveling up all of my familiars as well. That's something that the games librarian and I were talking about on the Discord, but... It's, nah, <laughs> it's just a ridiculous amount of hours would be required. I might do some grinding later on to try and max out, well, not necessarily max out, because that's quite the task, but to um, get some levels on Alucard as well. In fact, truth be told, God damn it. Truth be told, I don't even know what level we are. We're level 27. So... Probably not that strong in the overall scheme of things for fighting Dracula. Not that we can actually fight Dracula yet, but my god, that time is quickly approaching. I can tell you. Now, as I've also said previously, I haven't completed the reverse castle before, but from what I can kind of understand about the reverse castle is it isn't as long, should we say, as the castle the first time round. I think there is a similar amount of secrets and all that good stuff, but it's just quicker to get around because obviously we're going to have all of our abilities, oh, all of our powers and all of that good stuff. And these gremlins, gremlins can go suck gremlin cock, because they really piss me off. I forgot that these heads don't actually turn around and face you. Kind of funny, really, when you think about it. Oof. He was about to bitch slap me with his chicken head. You cannot convince me that those monkey skeletons are not just giant chicken heads. You cannot convince me. You can try. You can try. But you cannot convince me. I've been to the other side and I've seen the truth. 
Anywho, let's get out of it. Oh, I love these Salem Witches. Such a cool design. I don't know why I like them, to be honest. I think it's because, you know, the whole story of the Salem Witches and everything about it. It's just such a cool, creepy kind of fitting foe to be found here. Although, I think they probably could have been a little bit more powerful, a little bit more dangerous, but let's not jinx ourselves too much, shall we? Um, now, we could potentially... Go back there, but... Hang on a minute. Hang on one cotton picking stinking minute. Is there another secret that I've forgotten? Look, bitch, I don't have time to play your silly little games. I have. Oh, great, we're cursed. Okay, maybe they are a little bit more dangerous than I thought. Come up here, you. Absolute asshole. Don't make me use magic against you. I think her magic is a little bit more powerful than mine. Oof. There we go. Gold! Well, it's not technically gold, is it? It's dollary dues. Okay, let's keep. Getting out of here. Now. Oh, hello. Don't you curse me, bitch. Now. How do we... Hit that. Hmm. Hmm. How did I forget about this secret? One second, guys. I need to remember how to get this. Okay, so apparently we need the demon. Command me, my lord and master. Uh, go push the switch, dude. Push the switch. Push it. Okay. We need him to go push the bloody switch. Hmm, a switch. There we go. Why don't I press it and see? Yes, push the switch, my beauty. Excellent. Now, back in your... Back. <laughs> back in my pocket. Right. Now, I can't remember if I got this uh, before. I must have done, surely. Let's get rid of these uh, thorn weeds. Because they ain't no good to man or beast. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Hello. I don't remember ever coming down here. Oh, she's about to have a bad time. Get out of here. Stop playing with me. Come on, give me the goodies. Give me the goodies. Ooh. This is cool. Ring of Aries. And a turkey. Ooh, wait, there's more. Peanuts. Power of Sire. I've never been here before. Ooh, so peanuts, I'm guessing, are a food item. Um, yeah, so that was on my map, but I've... Interesting. So if we go to equip... Ring of Ares confers the strength of 24 men. Ooh. Huh. You know what? Sure, I guess. I don't know if that actually is going to wear out or what, but sure. Strength of 24 men. That's going to put our attack damage way up apparently if I could stop getting a hit by this pain in the ass that would be fantastic 
All right, was not expecting that. I guess it does pay to glance over at my notes once in a while. Who'd have thunk? All right, cool. Now we're taking an absolute creamery here. A creamery of pain. So let's get out of here and go and save the game. 24 strength. I can't believe I, I've missed that. That's actually a really useful item. Because there's a lot of items in this game which, well, yeah, mm, they're nice to have, but they're not exactly what one would say useful. Anyway, let's keep going. Because we've got a few more items to pick up. We've got the jewel sword, a life apple, um, and a few other bits and bobs. And then we need to go and get the new item or the last item, which I believe is the silver ring. Because we've already got the gold ring. But our next actual objective is to go into the clock. And to do that, we need the two rings of power. At least I assume they're rings of power. Wow, we're getting absolutely body bagged. Because of course we are. You know you're having a bad day when you're getting your ass kicked by a frog. And also grab this eh. the pentagram sure we can grab the secret boots not 100% sure what the secret boots do to be honest discreetly increases height um okay why not I guess and there is another little Brucey bonus area that we can go down here. Let's get rid of the shade. And a lovely life up potion is our reward. Yeah, we're not done yet. Dis decree discreetly increases height, like Really? I mean... Yep. Yes, they actually do as well. They make us about a pixel or two taller, which is curious. I'm sure they have a use. Maybe they don't. Um, right, okay, so let us, I think there's still something down here that we have to grab. I mean, there isn't, but we need to fill the map in. Can we not fill the map in over here? We do want to fill the map in it makes our armor more powerful and there's a killer fish which I'd completely forgot about which by all accounts is actually a very powerful fish there we go map filled in let's get out of here a la carte now we want to be going this way I love that fast forward button I really do shouldn't really lean on it as much as we do, but hey-ho. What are you going to do? Now, next secret. Remember these mermen? I remember these mermen. There is a secret below us, but to open the secret, for some reason, we need to go through this tunnel once as the dog and once is the bat. And that will open a secret door. I don't know why, okay? You're just gonna have to trust a brother. Whilst we get our ass kicked here. See this hole in the wall? That was not there before. And that gives us a life apple and the jewel sword. And we're gonna equip the jewel sword.
Now, the dual sword does not do as much damage as the uh, Mormigil. But what it does is quite often it will um, make enemies drop gems and things like that. So, you know, if you're trying to grind out sellable items, it's not a terrible shout. Now, according to the wiki, it makes enemies drop gems all the time. In my experience, that is a little bit misleading. I wouldn't say it is as good as uh, the wiki will let you believe, but sometimes you get lucky. And when you get lucky, it will drop a lot of gems. And then you won't see anything for like an hour. There you go, Sucron. I mean, sure, I guess. It's better than a punch in the balls. And we are about to be dead. So, let's get out of here. Yep, so as you can see, we barely got anything at all there. Which is, yeah, I think fair to say, a little bit misleading. Our fairy's actually healing us there. Which, I guess that's what she's paid for. I don't know what she fed us. Hopefully it was something good. I also hope that Alucard here isn't allergic to peanuts. Oh, I know why we're probably taking way more damage than we should be. Let's put the walk armor back on. Um... Okay, apparently the walk armor doesn't increase our armor at all. Right. Okay, so it looks like the Ring of Ares sets our defense to zero. It gives us way more attack, but it's... Ah. You know what? You know what? I, I don't think that's a good deal. I don't think that's a good deal at all. I was wondering why we were taking so much damage. And to get an Aquamarine from a zombie was actually a pretty good shout. Two, no less. Yeah, we'll take that. Definitely don't want that, though. It makes enemies worth fighting again. Even these ones that are worth, like, one XP. Even a Zootron, you know? Better than nothing. You son of a... Now, the jeweled blade, we're getting swamped here, isn't a very fast weapon. But, you know, considering... Considering it's going to be paying our bills for a while, I guess we shouldn't be too hard on it. Yeah, man, that sucks. To have that massive strength ring, but zero defense. Oof. No, thank you. That's not worth it. That's not worth it at all. Unless you're, like, amazingly good and you never get hit. Which, let's be honest, that's not me. Um. Ooh. Okay. Let's keep going. Evening! Get fucked. Fuck the lot of zoos. Now. Could almost definitely use a save uh, room because we're kind of battered. Way more than I would have liked to have been, to be honest, but... I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. Now, actually, there's a save room through there, isn't there? Aye, right. So I'm actually going to leave this video here, guys. This was a bit more of a collect-a-thon than I thought it was going to be. But that's okay. Um, I guess we're going to make our way towards this, the ring in the next video. Also, we need to go under the clock tower. 
get the holy glasses. And I think there's a couple of other little areas that we need to uh, investigate. Um, but we are kind of, I think, mostly done with this castle section now. Almost. I think. Until I check my notes in a second and realised I've just told you a load of old ass. But in any case, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.